What is going on, guys? Paul Ryan back at it again. I hope everybody's having a good Tuesday night. Hey, let's talk some Cowboys. Cowboys staying active, right? Going out and making some moves now. Big time moves? No, not really. But signing two linebackers and a defensive tackle. And to adding to position groups where we don't have a lot of depth, lot of depth. But I do get more and more excited about these linebackers. I said that a couple of times this in the last couple of days about how excited I am about these linebackers. But it's also nice to add some depth, especially some veteran depth. Uh, Nick Vigil once reportedly played under Mike Zimmer. He's kind of bounced around, former third-round pick. And uh, defensive tackle Albert Huggins, or Huggins, who, again, has been bounced around. Uh, the article I did read about these guys just to kind of uh, – you know, get a better understanding of what to expect, who they were, what type of players they are. You know, they the uh, report I read was that they might be a long shot to play, or excuse me, to even make the roster. So we'll see what happens. But you never know what can happen, man. Uh, you know, guys sometimes are late bloomers, right? So they could come in here and be quality special teamers. They could be quality rotation pieces. You know, maybe not. Doesn't sound like they'll be superstars by any means or even starters. Like I said, you know, the, the there's a thought that they might not even make the roster, but just to know that the Cowboys are actually at least being active and doing something, right, instead of just relying on uh, draft picks and waiting to the last minute to, to make something happen and putting too much pressure on this on the coaching staff to, to uh, fix problems that could have been solved earlier in the year, like we saw last year where we didn't have enough depth at linebacker and Guys are playing out of position like a Marquise Bell and Damon Clark and things like that, and that really ended up biting us in the most important game of the year being being the playoffs. But, again, you know, we saw last last week after Sam Williams got injured, Cowboys go out and they signed two defensive ends. Now, are those guys going to make the roster? Probably not, but the fact that they just went out and made some moves, it's, it's nice to see, man. Nice to see them being a little bit more proactive and uh, not just waiting until the last minute or till it's too late to to be fixed almost. So, again, kudos to the Cowboys for, for doing that. When will CD get signed? Who, who knows? That's kind of – it's kind of getting weird, man, that he still hasn't gotten a new deal, especially after what it sounded like, I believe, was the report that CD's agent sent them an offer, then Jerry and Steven sent CD and his team an offer, and still nothing has yet to be done. Of course, Dak's still not being done. Don't think Micah is anywhere close to getting a contract uh, wisely by him. Of course, you know, he's probably going to have the best year of his career under Mike Zimmer. And he's going to, I would imagine, be the highest paid defensive player of all time when he when his payday comes. So, um, yeah, just uh, kind of getting into a weird, weird, weird situation with CD for sure. But, um, you know, that's a conversation for another day. Again, glad to see the Cowboys doing something. Um, we've talked a lot about running backs the last couple of days. I do wonder, will they be this active with running backs, or are they just kind of happy with the group that they have? Um, I am, you know, as days pass, I'm getting a little bit more intrigued with Hunter Lipke. I think he could be a really good red zone weapon. Um, of course, y'all know how I feel about Deuce Vaughn, and then we still have Rico and Zeke. So that's an interesting group, man. It doesn't sound like it's doing that great in training camp, but training camp reports are so hit or miss they're not the end all be all and uh you you know you just can you got to take those with a grain of salt now the, the people that i i trust the most the ones that i listen to the most when they're when they say that the running backs don't look very good it does you know it is kind of cause for concern but we'll see what happens man so um but yeah that's all i've got for you guys today i hope everybody's having a good night I'm Paul Ryan. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.